Hey friends, so it's Wednesday. We're halfway through the week. For those of you who have been having like a spectacular week, you have more. There is more week for you to continue to enjoy. And maybe for some of us who haven't been having the best week ever, it's half done. We're going to get through this. I know we can do it. We can do it. Our devotion for today from Thy Will Be Done is, but that's impossible. And we're gonna to go to Exodus 3, 14. What is Moses up to now? God said to Moses, I am who I am. This is what you are to say to the Israelites. I am has sent me to you. Moses was to return to Egypt and tell the Israelite slaves that God was going to set them free. The people would surely ask, which God? They were surrounded by Egyptian gods. Would they even want to hear about the God of their forefathers? They were just trying to survive. Why would they care about Moses' God? But God equipped Moses for this mission, for his mission. He told Moses his name, I am. The great I am promised to be with Moses. Now here's something really cool, guys. Okay, so in my adult church in Iowa, so not my not the, the church of my youth, the one that I grew up in, but my adult church in Iowa, the one that I was in from uh, 2000 to like, mm, I don't know, 20, I don't know, when did I move here? 2015, I don't know. Anyway, I was back up there again here recently, and the pastor there, well, he's a reverend doctor, yeah, he's got all those, all those um, extra uh, classes and everything that he's taken, so the reverend doctor, at Emmanuel Lutheran in Grinnell. He said something the last time I was up there in his Bible study on the second commandment, you know, thou shall not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. Um, he said something that was really cool, something I've never thought of before. God, the God of the universe, the God who made everything, who decided that this is what a hand should look like who decided, yes, we need alligators and spiders, but we also need beautiful flowers and that great feeling that you get when someone that you love says they love you back. Yeah, that God, that God introduced us to himself and gave us his name. He could have said, you can't handle this, so you can call me that guy over there. You can call me the one in the air. You can call me blah, blah, blah. He could have chosen anything, but no, he introduced himself to us by name. Names matter. Even to God, he called us by name. He, our names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life, and he gave us his name. And in this instance, the name that he gave to Moses was the biggest. I am insert anything after that. I am the great physician. I am uh, a provider. I am the one who cares for you. I am the one that supports you. I'm the one that justifies you, sanctifies you, washes you, cleanses you. I am is the one who's with Moses right now. That's a big deal, my friends. Okay, sorry. I just had to add that in there. I love this now. And I thank you, Reverend Doctor, if you're watching this, I thank you so much for um, putting that in my mind because it has given me um, a whole different appreciation for the fact that God introduced himself to us by name. Okay, let's continue. God has not sent us into a hostile world unequipped. We have his name his presence? Or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit living within you, whom you have from God? That's from 1 Corinthians 6.19. We are sent to change the world, to bring all into God's family, to reach all with God's gracious love and forgiveness. Impossible? Most certainly. But we are not alone. Our named and loving God is with us in Christ Jesus. We cannot fail. Let's pray. Living Lord, help us remember that we are marked with your name and your cross. Help us act in that confidence. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, my friends, I will see you tomorrow. I'll give you a little bit of something to chew on today, huh? It's a good day. Bye, friends.